Ravida says, by expressing the secret of detachment, O unfortunate man, why not contemplatest thou the Lord in thy heart with profound love? Namdev, come thou, who art Kalandar and Keshwa in the form of superior Sufi. Thou art the Lord who has sky as thy cap and the seven nether worlds as thine sleepers. The body covered with skin is thy temple. Like this thou Lord, the cherisher of the world, art equipped. The fifty-six myriads of clouds make thine gown and sixteen thousand milkmaids are thy trousers. The eighteen loads of vegetation is thy mortar and whole world thy plate. Human body is the mosque and mind the priest who says the prayer in poise. With Lady Lakshmi thy marriage is performed and through her a formless lord thou seemest to possess form. While I was performing my worship my symbols were snatched. To whom should I complain? Nama's lord is the knower of inner hearts. Though he has no country, he is wandering everywhere. Rag Basant, first guru, kar first chopadas, dutuke. The creator of all is one, the only one. Truth is his name. He is doer of everything. He is without fear and without enmity. His form is immortal. He is unborn and self-illuminated. He is realized by Guru's grace. Amongst the months, auspicious is the month when the spring season ever enjoyable begins. Ever, ever bloom thou, O my heart, by remembering that Lord of the world. O ignorant man, forget thou thy egoistic intellect. Destroy thy ego, meditate on God in thy mind, and within thee adopt the virtues of sublime virtuous Lord. The virtuous deeds are the tree, God's name its branches, righteousness its flowers, and the divine enlightenment its fruits. The attainment of God are its leaves and the facing of the mind's ego its dense shade. Whoever sees the Lord's might with his eyes, hears the Guru's word with his ears, and utters the true name with his mouth, he obtains the full wealth of the honor, and in poise his attention is fixed on the Lord. The months and seasons continue coming. See thou, O man, that thou doesest pious deeds. Nanak says, they who by Guru's grace remain merged in the God, never wither and ever remain in bloom. First Guru, Basant, the month of delightment, spring season has come. They who are imbued with thy love, Lord, they contemplate thee with joy. Without thee, whom else should I worship and at whose feet should I fall? My king, I am said to be the slave of thine slaves. O my master, the life of the universe, thou art not attained by any other device. Thou hast one sole figure, but numerous are thine forms. Which of thine forms should I worship and burn incense before? No one has found thy limit. How can anyone find it? I call myself the servant of thine servant, O my sovereign.